How's it going everyone? This video is going to be over my favorite entry model or reversal model, and that is using order blocks. So we will hop into a PDF, go over that before hopping into some examples on the charts. This is my favorite reversal pattern. Now, the first thing I start with is an important level, whether this is a PD array or buy side liquidity, it is resting above price here. On a lower time frame, price reaches up and puts in a swing high. Price then reaches up and raids this high here. My eyes go to this up close candle or series of up close candles here. When price closes below this up close candle, it then validates this order block and I'm looking for it to support price lower. Similarly down here, I have an important level resting below price. Price then creates a short term low. It then raids this low. My eyes go to where? This down close candle here or series of down close candles. When price closes over this down close candle, I'm looking for it to support price higher. So let's get into the charts and look at a few examples of this. So here we have DXY on the daily chart, and we're going to be watching this daily fair value gap as our point of interest. So if we zoom in here, you can see we have a fair value gap resting above us here. So let's see if we put in a swing low here. We do put in a swing low. So now we have liquidity resting right above our point of interest. Let's see what happens. We fill this fair value gap. We get a move down. We don't quite take these lows yet. And the next day, we sweep these lows into the point of interest. So what are my eyes looking at? This down close candle into the point of interest that swept these lows. So I wanna see when price closes over this high. So price closes over this high. So now I'm going to be looking at the opening price of this order block. So let's see what happens. Now we have a fair value gap here as well. Price reaches into this order block. It's important to notice the close is outside the opening price of the order block. And the following or next day, we get a move higher, reaching for this high here. So you can see how the down close candle on the move that swept these lows here into the point of interest was used to support price higher. We are going to be looking at US oil on the daily chart. Now, if you notice, we have previous month's high resting here, and we have a weekly fair value gap resting below us here. We just put in a swing high here and a swing low here. So let's see what happens. We get a nice full bodied up close candle into this point of interest. So if we close below it, I would like to see it become an order block. There we get a close below it, so I'd want to see the opening price of this support price lower. So we get a move up to retest this area and this placement lower. Let's see what happens next. We sweep this sell side liquidity here and create a fair value gap. So let's see what happens here if we reach for this weekly fair value gap. So we do reach for the weekly fair value gap as this daily fair value gap supports prices lower. Now, what do we notice? We have a point of interest. We swept this low. So if we get a close over this high, I'd like to see this candle become an order block. So we do get a close over this. So marking out the opening price. We want to see this support price higher. Now we have overlapping PD arrays as we have a fair value gap and an order block lined up. Price reaches into this order block, gets displacement out. So now my eyes are drawn to where? These areas of buy side liquidity. And there we go. Oil makes a move higher to these previous highs. So you can see how these full bodied up close candles here when they get closed below support price lower and these down close candles when they get closed above support prices higher so let's go to our next example for this next example we are going to be looking at nq on the five minute chart to start out we have our daily level or important level here which is sell side liquidity from the daily chart here so let's drop into the five minute chart so here we are on the five minute chart and we just hit that daily swing low so what I want to see is, do we get displacement back up here? Now, what I don't really like is I prefer a nice full bodied candle down into this low, but let's see what happens. So we get a move up, 
but not very much displacement, right? We can't break these highs. So let's see what happens. There we get a nice full body down close candle and we get a sweep. So now we have a lower time frame sweep with a full bodied candle. So I want to see if price can displace and close over this high. So there is displacement closure over that high. So now I'd want to see if this opening price of this down close candle and the move that swept the lows supports prices higher. You can see we now have a fair value gap below us as well. So we may reach into that. We do reach into that. If you notice the wicks reach into there, the body is still respecting this down close candle and price starts to reach higher. So you can see this down close candle and the move that swept the lows on the lower time frame. After engaging with a higher time frame level, we get displacement and closure over the series, or in this case, the singular down close candle. And then it is used as support to move higher. So for our last example, we're going to take a look at gold on the weekly time frame and drop down to the four hour time frame. So if we're looking at the weekly time frame here, what do we notice? Well, it's pretty clear to see that we have a fair value gap here. But in the context of this video, what are we looking for? Well, we have a swing high here. And what happens? We get a move higher to sweep that. We can't close above these highs. And then we drop and close back below these lows. So these up close candles on the move up that swept the highs before closing back below them is what? An order block. So now we have a point of interest. So let's drop down to the four hour time frame and watch what happens when price reaches that area. So here we get a move higher up into this order block. We haven't yet reached that weekly fair value gap. So let's see what happens. So we put in a swing high just below our point of interest. So right here, we now get our lower time frame sweep. So let's see if we can close below these up close candles and ideally this low here. So we get a strong aggressive move here. So what am I going to do here? Mark out these up close candles here as an order block because we swept this swing high and then we close below these up close candles. Ideally, I want to see a move below this low, but this is how I use it. So let's see what happens. And before I go any further, Another thing I can do is use these moves to project. So if you haven't seen my video on standard deviation projections, I would use this manipulation leg to project it. Generally, I'd like to see a move towards this two to 2.5 standard deviation area, and then eventually to this fourth standard deviation area. So let's see what happens. So we get that close below. So that's our market structure shift. And if you notice, price did already use that order block and it supported it lower. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna drag this out a little more. So if you notice, we just hit our first standard deviation, but what did we also have? A sweep here, the down close candle, now closing over. I'd wanna see the support price back up to this order block. There we go. You can see how the bodies respect it. Now we get a move up into that order block. Do we get any closes or displacement lower? No, not yet. Now we get a lower time frame sweep and displacement lower. So what do we also have here now? Up close candles and the move that swept the high before we come and close below. Once again, we can use this as a market structure shift. And if we want to, again, we can project from this high to this low. So where do I wanna see? Well, you can see how these two standard deviation projections are kind of overlapping. So I'd wanna see price reach into this area. So let's see. We just hit our first standard deviation, which is where we got a retracement last time. And looks like we might be headed back for this order block. So we go hit this order block. 
and now we close below. So I'd want to see these up close candles or series of up close candles. You can see how it uses it as support to move lower. Still uses it as support to move lower. And then we go hit our projections here. Let's see if we reach into this second standard deviation of this one. We do. And where do we go? Back up to where you can see we have a high that was swept up close candle in the move that swept the high. That's an order block. So let's see if this one works as well. Fair value gap. And we go and make a new low. Now you can see in this range, I did add projections in here, but you can see how using these order blocks and the move that swept these highs can be used. So I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any new ideas for videos, please drop them in the comments below. And I do read all those. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.